Hi, I'm Derek Green and I'm the construction manager here at Googong Dam. Here we are at 95% complete on the Googong Dam spillway. We started work here in February 2009 and we've progressed through the B walls initially on top of the existing spillway. We completed those and progressed down to the A walls and the chute extension slab which is between the two A walls. Uh, that work is now all but done with one pour left. One pour remaining on the downstream apron so, and a couple of pours down in the plunge pool once we finish dewatering that after the recent rain. So, all in all, within the next three, four weeks, the job should be complete and we'll be able to finish demobilising and walk away satisfied that, and I believe the client satisfied that we've achieved their objectives, leaving a good legacy and a good standing for the BWA in terms of our results and what we can achieve as an alliance. We're standing in the second of two biodiversity offset areas uh, that are being undertaken as part of the Googong Dam spillway uh, restoration works. So in this area here, we've put in a variety of species of plants, uh, about a hundred in total in this area. The work here is being undertaken by a subcontractor to the uh, Bulk Water Alliance, Greening Australia. The first area that we were actually uh, planting is, will be direct seeded, whereas in this area we used 100 seedlings of uh, a mixed variety. Um, it was a condition of our DA approval to do the restoration works that this work be undertaken. Over the next 12 to 18 months, uh, will maintain a program of maintenance, of monitoring, uh, weed control, to try and ensure that the establishment of the, the trees that we've planted are successful. The area is largely infested with whorehound and uh, we've undertaken a spraying regime to assist the local uh, park rangers uh, manage the weed infestations on this area not only are we treating the whorehound, but there's a couple of other species, Aaron's rod and some of the native thistles, which are persistent over this hilltop. So in the distance there you can see the tower crane, which has been used extensively on the project. So we're a couple of hundred metres to the north of the, the actual spillway itself, where biodiversity area two is situated. And, uh, this is the southernmost tip on the western end. As you can see behind me, there's quite a few trees planted in biodiversity area too, which we are hopeful will attain the objective of increasing the biodiversity and connectivity through this area. Uh, my name is John Cosgrove. I'm a leading hand here in Gugan, a uh, leading hand carpenter. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Mick Sheehan. I'm an Abigail foreman here at Gugan Dam Spillway. I've been here for about seven to eight months, getting near the end of it now. Um, I'm a carpenter, so I've been a carpenter since I'm 20 years of age, so I've done it for 10 years back at home. And then uh, I've got my first job with, with Abbey Group out here. And uh, yeah. Been going a long time. Well, long for me, I suppose. I've worked on a lot. I came from a uh, previous job was at a dump station on the ground, and this is total opposite, all above ground and up at height. And before that was bridges, a lot of bridges over the years. So this is totally different with the slope factor involved in this, and all working in height too. It's a fair bit of height involved. Yeah, I started here roughly 16 months ago. Um, pretty much when the job, well, job had started a couple of months. I started up on the spillway 
um, doing a bit up there, and then eventually got down here to uh, the lower benches. With the guys, we got a lot of them have worked on this type of construction before, and you've actually got to train them, keep an eye on them, make sure the safety side of things, which is the biggest thing here, because they're working at height, make sure it's all safe, handrails, etc. And we want to all get to work and then go home in the evening time, make sure everything is safe. So it is tough, but um, just got to keep on top of it and make sure everybody leaves at the end of the day and goes home. Well, you have your first one, your first bench, I think is eight metres, six metres um, of uh, concrete, it's roughly 300 mil in width. And then you come down to your first bench and uh, then it's continued on down another wall. And then finally you get down to uh, your bench 611. And then from there, it's uh, down into the plunge pool. The rainfall you've had here probably wouldn't even be in comparison to the amount of rain we have back home. <laughs> it's only a couple of light showers here. We have had a bit here lately and um, the dam is starting to come up. So we're all hoping and praying that we can get this job finished before it, if it ever does come over the crest. As you can see, it's not long to go now. It's probably, uh, we were pouring this wall on Friday and then after that, let's just strip it down and clean everything away and down into the plunge pool where hopefully that water will be cleared by then. Uh, we can get down and do a few bits down there, a few uh, benches and get the shock treatment started and finished. Yeah, and no, a good bunch of lads here. Um, safe wise, we've had a fairly good record here. And um, everybody has come to realise, I think, that um, you've got to do it right here. Well, as you can hear by the accent, Ireland. And as I said, sunny southeast Wexford, so. Uh, County Cork. Yes, I was back there two years ago. Uh, I'd like to get back there every uh, three or four years if I can, see the family. No, 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 no. Not, not from the Rebel County. <laughs> they reckon I have an Aussie accent, or a bit of one there. They come, they come over every now and again and bash it over to me and I'm right again for a few months and then it creeps back in again. As in, this is probably my first job in about seven years, six years that I've worked with uh, a crew of Irish lads as well. So it tends to bring it back out in here a bit as well. Yeah, well, it's, it's probably one of the biggest projects I've been on. It's usually made it a lot smaller back at home. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a good eye-opener about how everything works and, and especially the way the concrete and temperatures and stuff like that varies a lot and how you get the ports, so yeah. It's been one of the most satisfying jobs I've been on too. It's been a great team to work with. Uh, each of the foremen and engineers on the project have all contributed a great deal to the su success of our job. And um, I'd be very glad to, to work with any of these guys again. 